All right, hey everyone, Sean here, and today in this uh, car detailing journal, I believe, what day is it today? Um, it is about February 6th at this time. So it is at night, day after work, all that stuff. Um, let me get this towel out of the way first. But anyway, as I'm doing that, um, pretty uh, tough day at work, but we got through it. It's fine. It was pretty busy. Uh, let's bring this forward as well. All right. Well, anyway. So, yeah. Um, we're here nonetheless. <clears throat> and I got something new. And I got some other stuff uh, as well to show you guys, including what's over there. Pretty special. But, um, yeah. So, um, it's been a pretty interesting beginning of February because of the weather alone um it's been raining quite a bit in california i think it's just stopped raining not not too long ago um well i mean uh, a couple days ago <laughs> so <clears throat> wednesday was um a little a little rainy i think but then thursday today um well it, it definitely is a fr the first day without rain at all after all that rain um, it's crazy because California definitely does not get a lot of rain and um, over the past few days, like even one day, uh, the half of the average of California's rain uh, already happened in that one day. So that's pretty crazy. So a lot of water, a lot of flooding in uh, the LA areas and stuff like that, but we're okay, luckily. And um, you know, uh, you know what that means? I have an excuse to go wash my car. So yes. Uh, we're going to need some extra cleaning power. Um, I did bring uh, in a, um, a favorite amongst uh, a number of detailers. So it is DIY Details Rinseless Wash in the Plastic Flesh and Chemicals, I guess you'd say. Um, I did buy this straight from DIY Detail. Um, not a sponsor and like that. Uh, I paid it with my own money. <clears throat> I would love to uh, work with them someday, but um, I'm just a weekend warrior, so, uh, you know, not a professional or anything like that, and um, all that fun stuff. So anyway, <clears throat> Princess Wash, I definitely cannot wait to uh, go ahead and try this out. Um, I already got, like, kind of got the bottle proportioner prepared and everything, so I even um, cut a little bit of the, the, what do you call the tube? So that it fits the thing better. Um, I'm not sure if that really does any benefit to it, other than it's a, it is a better fit. Um, if you notice on the the well, um, on the O and R, I did notice that it's a tighter fit, just because you know it's the pretty much the same bottle. It looks like it, they're very similar. <clears throat> There's some slight variations, like the handle right here is a little rounder. This is a little more angular. Stuff like that. Um, and you can also see like the lines right here are a little different. Hopefully the camera is getting all that. So anyways, different bottle manufacturer for sure. Um, yeah, even like on the Meguiar's one is uh, kind of different from the O&R bottle. So um, the Meguiar's Hyperwash bottle right here. <clears throat> different uh, manufacturer as well. Um, but yeah, they're all made in the USA. I love it. Uh, I believe, uh, oh, I, I, at least I believe ONR is made in the US. But anyway, most of them, mostly USA. That's all, uh, what I'm all for, you know. And uh, definitely cannot wait to try the Rinseless Wash uh, soon enough. Uh, I heard great things about it. I mean, it's got the cleaning power. It's got the slickness. It's got everything you need for a rinseless coming from... Um, the Rinseless Guru, um, you know, Ivan LaCroix, I've heard that name plenty of times since I've d delved into the, the rabbit hole of RT telling back in October. His name popped up soon after I started, along with Pandy, the organizer and all that stuff, <laughs> and um, some dust. And, um, you know, uh, I've learned that he has his own company since he came, he, funny enough, he came from uh, Optimum. And then uh, later on, he left and made his own company along with uh, Nick uh, 
uh, McGurk, I believe his name is, and formed DIY Detail. And um, thus came Rinse and Swash, simple enough name, no fanciness to it, um, other than being yellow uh, ish, and then it has, it has that like that nice uh, apple smell to it. So, pretty appropriate, you know. I opened it up, um, and you know, I, I had to because I had to put this in. But anyway, um, I definitely smelled it. It smells great. And uh, we're going to lead right into uh, what, put, uh, what I, you know, put into first. And that is this lovely and legendary IK foam sprayer uh, 12. So um, this is pretty much the, um, you know, the go-to foam sprayer if you kind of like want, you know, the all-around like goodness for that type of application. So um, kind of like a big upgrade to what I've been using in a way. I haven't used it just yet, but I'm sure it will perform just great. And, um, you know, I definitely cannot wait to uh, get this a whirl and all that stuff. So you'll notice I added some stuff on here. Um, I have a video kind of in the back um, waiting for extra footage. So basically what you're seeing, though, is not only the IK foam spray of itself, but um, this tactical pouch right here and some extra stuff in there. But importantly, um, it has actually a tire inflator in here. So I took part in the uh, sort of the DIY hack and uh, basically um, going to try to make this a continuous sprayer without trying to spend, uh, what, the extra 155 bucks, 150 bucks ish to uh, get the, you know, the first party um, battery compressor that this allows and uh, snugly fits and um, it actually like automatically pumps whenever there's lower pressure and all that stuff. This will work as well, the tire inflator, it's just that you have to manually turn it on again when you're spraying. So that way it'll continuously pump, it'll continuously spray, therefore you'll continuously foam depending on what you're using. So. Funny enough, um, yes, I did order this from the rag company, not a sponsor. I just bought it with my own money as well. Um, I already filled it up to uh, half, uh, one and a half gallons and I have um, diluted appro appropriately with rinse and wash already from DIY Details. So I'm all prepared for uh, up this upcoming um, wash this weekend and definitely cannot wait to try out the rinse and wash this uh, IK foam sprayer, you know, the big, the big boy and all that stuff. Um, pretty cool, man. It's going to be a pretty fun wash. Uh, first time uh, for a number of things once again. Um, I've had my first time with the pressure washer not too long ago. Like it's, it's been like, what, two months since I have last used my pressure washer. But now I'm going to have this as part of my arsenal. It's pretty cool, right? So... Um, I definitely cannot wait for that, for sure. Hopefully, um, it's getting the necessary shots. But anyway, um, let me try to adjust a little bit. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's that's the big boy himself. So yeah. Um, but yeah, um, how I'm uh, doing it or approaching it is with the tactical pro uh, pouch that I got for myself uh, to hold the product or hold the thing the device to as, as it inflates continuously hopefully um and it is mounted with some velcro straps right there uh that I actually had uh, lying around don't mind this buckle you don't need you don't need a buckle for this one at least for this kind of velcro strap anyway um you can pretty much take uh buy from your like uh, hardware store or whatever i believe and it'll do the job so uh, this kind of Velcro strap doesn't require a buckle, I think, anyway. But you're kind of better off buying a Velcro strap that comes with the buckle or something. So that way you can like actually tighten it better than what I have here. Which is why it's a little rough on the edges when it comes to the fit. But it, it'll, it'll, it'll do the job um, for the most part. That's important. And I will save 
um, quite a bit of money there. So, uh, great features on this sprayer. Um, you know, besides the large tank and ergonomics and stuff like that, it does come with the Schrader valve, which is very key to what we're doing here uh, and trying to accomplish, which is just uh, just that continuous spray. Uh, it's battery powered, of course. This um, tire inflator and and all that. And hopefully the pouch will do a good job trying to reduce some of the vibration and just holding it. Uh, make sure it doesn't wiggle around or anything like that. That's the only thing that's different from the uh, different builds that I've noticed from all the DIYers that tried to do this uh, same trick with their IK sprayers. And um, what I'm also planning to do is do something similar with my other sprayers and that is to add uh, tire valves to them uh, or straighter valves if you want to call them. Um, they are going to do pretty much the same thing here and then I will use probably this, likely the same pump or a tire inflator to inflate them and then uh, we'll go from there, man. It's uh, um, such a ni nice idea and um, I'll probably, maybe I'll take, the, take it this far by buying another um, uh, tire inflator, but also I might buy a different pouch just to see if that's better or not and I may have to or I may want to switch it you know um, uh, From that to this one or something like that, whatever. We'll, we'll see. I have these terry towels and just in here just because um, I, I kind of want um, To make sure it is a snug fit. It's pretty big without it. Like there's a lot of space that's why I just have these like towels I don't use and just stuff it in there just to make sure it doesn't wiggle around too much. What's nice about the pouch is that you actually have extra pockets with this one. And um, that means you can like pretty much throw in the spare parts into here and just keep it right there. That way you're like a little more organized with that. So I like it so far just from like holding it so thus far, carrying it around. And um, setting up is not too bad. You don't have to like remove this whole head just to open up the thing. You can just open up the handle to um, pull it and then pour your chemicals in there and water and you're good to go, man. Um, that's some good stuff. So that is what I got um, over the course uh, from my last journal. So uh, very happy. You know, is that it, you know that it's all here. I got the rinse list. I got the IK foam sprayer 12 with the battery uh, with the battery powered tire inflator and everything, just ready to go, man. So this upcoming weekend, I definitely cannot wait to try it all out and hopefully be happy with the results here. I've been hearing good things, like I said, about rinse and wash because of its cleaning power, and that is thanks to its um. Uh, what you call the surfactants. So surfactants basically means the thing foams. So there's stuff in the chemical that will make it foam, like like uh, your dishwash soap, um, your hand soap, um, your average soap pretty much, like your body wash soap, shampoo, all that stuff, all have surfactants. Polymer-based cleaners like oh, uh, like the Optimum O and R or um, No Rinse. The ant on there. That's really surprising. Hold on. All right. Anyway, got that bug off of there. Hopefully, the ONR all uh, has polymers. Um, more more so than you know surfactants. So there's no surfactants at all. So that means it doesn't foam at all. It just it's a, it's just very slick to the touch, um, or at least on the paint anyway, and um, leaves a nice a pretty nice finish. The thing about it though is that the actual clean power itself um, can be hit or miss, right? Depending on how dirty your car is. It's done its job. Um, it does leave the car clean, but I do have to like do a little more. And by doing a little more, you know what I mean? That could be counterintuitive to what I'm trying to do, which is to not scratch up the paint, you know what I mean? So that's why rinse and wash hopefully will circumvent that because of the both polymer and surfactants that are in there will do both um, a good of a job as a cleaner and that rinse and wash that we all sort of um, love for 
you know, car washers anyway, or car, car detailers. So I really like um, the idea of it, so that's why I really, uh, and, I heard, and I've seen like review videos and all that stuff. Um, that's why I really wanted to, uh, you know, give it a try and all that stuff. So therefore, you know, it, <laughs> that's why, uh, you know, I went ahead and bought it in the first place. So um, let me actually just go ahead and uh, um, hold it like this. Um, take it off my head because um, just wanted to change it up a little bit. I don't mind it hold, holding it right now until I actually need to put it on my head, like like you know, do some um, <clears throat> two-handed operation or something, you know, like car washing for example. So we're not doing that here right now. So, um, so yeah, uh, and you know, I can actually see the screen for once, you know, instead of just like having to kind of guess. So anyway. Uh, so yeah, there's the IK foam sprayers, what it looks like with the DIY hack that I did. So it kind of looks like a, the, uh, like a little backpack from my little sprayer, you know, it's like, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to go to work guys. <laughs> so pretty cute. Um, again, there's that rag company sticker on there again, not a sponsor. Um, I just, I just like their, uh, products, including their towels and stuff like that. So. Um, including that uh, liquid data over there. It's been, I, I did a very good job drying up my car. Um, that one towel, you know, did my Corolla pretty good. So I'm definitely happy with that. All right. So yeah, DIY details, rinse this wash, can, definitely cannot wait to try it out with this. So what's cool about it, uh, I forgot to mention the whole point of the whole surfactant thing is that because this has surfactants, um, uh, and this can foam, right? Um, or, you know, it has foaming capabilities. That combination of the two will be great because you have that, uh, the, all the goodness of a rinse and wash, but the cleaning sort of cleaning capabilities sort of, of a, uh, like a, your average so foaming soap. So the foaming actually uh, adds a little extra bite in a way because of the, because of the way uh, the bubbles are. So the more bubbles you have, right, the more application of the product you have on the surface. So that's why, you know, the, you know, the scrubbing bubbles and stuff like that, those pops of the, of each bubble is basically, you know, reapplying and, uh, agitating the product on the surface. So that's why, um, it actually is good to, uh, foam your car once in a while because it actually does really, uh, clean your car. Um, you know, unlike a, uh, a palm, a pure polymer based rinseless, unless you do it every single week or, um, very often, then you don't have to worry about it as much, but you know, once in a while, you kind of want that big clean on your car. So you definitely want to, uh, you know, bust out something. That's why it's good to have both. Um, I know my car kind of like needs a bit of both. So that's why maybe the rinseless wash will definitely will be able to do that. Cause it rained a lot so it left a lot of like just crap and all that stuff i noticed because um i was trying to like do, do a little touch up in my car but man I, I saw this film so i'm like oof man maybe i'll even have to bust out some apc over here with green star but we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll let's let's give Linsis wash a chance let's see what it does right um funny enough you know came in right on time to show itself you know with that being said, there is a video that I'm trying to produce in the works involving with, funny enough, the hyperwash. And not only that, um, let me move this out of the way for a second here with my, yeah, along with the thing, the, is this guy here too, the foam, the cherry foam from Superior Products. Um, I am trying to do a comparison video with those two each other, right? With with the throw-in bonus of guess what? Incredible suds from also DIY details. So funny, funny, right? Like you would think that the um, the rinseless guy, right, would have just rinseless wash. But no, he also has an incredible, uh, well, according to other people, an incredible car shampoo in in the lineup so it's incredible suds so yeah and funny enough um i'm like really preparing for the video to the point where i already have all my mixes uh 
just ready, right? So these will be my main stars of the show. So we have uh, Meguiar's right here. Um, it's a, uh, it comes out a little pink when you mix it, whereas this seems more reddish. You got that cherry, like that fruit punch red, which is uh, kind of cool. And then you have um, Incredible Suds mixed up in there as well. Um, I only put one ounce in here to, um, what was it, like 28, 28 uh, um, ounces of water. Same amount of water for these two, except that these two have two ounces each. So we're really trying to compare um, these two, right? Whether these two, uh, whether one of the two is worth getting, right? Um, are you better off paying more money for Meguiar's or are you actually good with just superior products and superior products comes out to be like what 15 bucks altogether with tax and everything for me um so that's why it's like well i really want to compare the two right i'm going to be pretty much like paying a little more than half mcguire's right because it's 35 bucks i think uh with tax and everything and then um uh, the cherry foam superior products is only 15 bucks so it's like yeah you know is it worth paying <clears throat> a little more than twice the price? So yeah, uh, I'm testing for uh, the, I guess the cleaning power, but also foaming capabilities. So yeah, if it foams better, then you'll more likely to clean better, right? You know, stick onto the paint better, all that stuff. Um, and we'll really want to, I really want to see if cher uh, cherry foam can uh, keep up with the hyper wash. So that's really what I'm looking for. And then, you know, incredible suds, it's just a bonus. I'm going to do that uh, either on the hood or the other side of the car or whatever. Probably on the hood because the hood, the hood is actually pretty dirty. So maybe there too, as well as the back because the back is also pretty dirty. So anyway, that is the plan of things uh, for the most part. Uh, so more stuff that I've done in the garage is, uh, well, not only get um, DIY detail, uh, rinse and swash very recently. I've already talked about uh, Incredible Suds over here, hidden in the between. <laughs> uh, I got this like weeks ago. So, and I did open it first time and it actually does smell like grapes, like uh, like a actual grape soda. Like when you open up a, a can of grape soda, that's definitely what it smells like to me anyway. Or, you know, grape candy, that stuff, that kind of stuff. Then, uh, you know, this, Hyperwash I got like like several uh, several weeks ago like you know what way a lot a while back and then today I um got to show you guys I actually got these bottles uh, these are like mini little jugs right they're kind of funny kind of look like a mini gallon jugs but no these are 32 ounce jugs perfect for um you know preparing stuff like this for um, the foam cannon so these 32 came in a four pack. Uh, so I have one more bottle, like just, um, well, actually it's over there, but I'll explain why it's over there and already filled with liquid and stuff like that. So <laughs> uh, these are pretty nice. Um, you can cap it off, hold it, you know, like save it until you're ready for your next foam wash and then get, get, that, uh, get those bad boys foaming on your car and everything. So pretty nice. Um, now, you can definitely see over here is uh, quite different, right? Damn, what's going on? So, um, yeah. So I did actually did myself a, a little bit of a cleanup, uh, a little bit. This is still needing some work. Uh, may may or may not throw away some stuff. Uh, I you know, or you know, or, or uh, get more containers to like kind of contain everything so that way it's more organized. <clears throat> so anyway, so what I did was I got myself a uh, like a storage rack that I got from Amazon. It was like 40 bucks more or less with everything together and it holds up okay. I mean, it kind of wobbles a little bit, but it's like plastic polyethylene or something to that extent. Uh, I also got these bins, storage bins. They came in a like six packs, so I am definitely using all of them right there these four and then even right here as well so that's the only change i did right here too like or at least significant change uh i just like you know put some parts in there and then kind of contained it and now i can put 
uh, stuff like this on top in these uh, sort of situations. Uh, but here, yes, obviously it did uh, help quite a bit. So let me move this a little bit. My TV the, that we're not using. So um, the, whatchamacall, um, I, the pressure washer is now here as well. Let me move this out of the way. Um, is now here. I'm able to put my pressure washer here. It's like uh, just small enough to fit right in here. For pretty nice. You know, I have that little box right there full of like stuff, uh, like a blower and stuff like that. I use it for my computer, PC, um, all, and all that. And then uh, some of my old, you know, car wash stuff in there along with this um, filter wrench right here that I kind of use sometimes. And then there's some uh, waterless and stuff like that in there uh, and like rinseless mixes and stuff like that. You know, the works. And then in this box, you may have seen it before in my older videos full of stuff that I do use more often than not, including the, uh, the clay towel right here. Great stuff. Um, yeah, my rags to riches right there now is sitting on top. So it looks a little more nice to look at, right? And then I got some, I got the headlamps right here. I got some other random stuff in here, which is including um, some parts for the quick connects for the hose. Yeah, I keep the caps in here for the gallon bottles just in case. And then, yeah, so um, this stuff is, has, has some parts in there too, funnels. Um, this oil funnel thing that we don't really use, so I just kind of use it as a holder. Um, but yeah, most importantly, I have all my microfiber towels right into here, so I even label them too. I, I'm just trying to be that organized nowadays. So I have all my like uh, most used towels up in here. Uh, my plush ones and glass ones into this one. My drying towels are in here. And then anything else, um, it goes into here for uh, microfiber towels. Like, you know, the, the older ones I don't really use, but they're kind of like the, um, not throwaways, but you know, for specific applications, let's just put it that way. Go in there. And of course I have my Karsher um, pressure washer right here. I believe this is the 1800 cube or whatever you call it. So uh, it's been serving me so uh, well so far. Uh, hopefully I can get some good use out of this one. I think the next one I would like to get is either the Ryobi or Ryobi, excuse me, and oh, and or <laughs> uh, or the what you call the Active 56 or something like that VE 56. That that's the one I'm look, kind of looking at, but we'll have to wait and see um, because now that I think about it, right? Like I would like to get the VE 56, but that puts out a lot of water. Like the GPM is like around two. And with the water filter system that I have over there on the car is about one-ish per gallon, whereas this is much closer to one gallon per minute, you know? So I'll probably likely get the Ryobi just because it's cheaper. Um, I'm not a big, I'm not that big on detailing. You know, I just detail my car and my family's cars. That's about it. So that's, should be more than enough, right? So that's like kind of my sort of two cents on that. Um, and also over here, because I had this uh, storage rack um, doing its job overall, I had to reconfigure this um, this wire mesh um, storage rack or shelf. And you can kind of change it. You can kind of change shapes with this. So it's pretty cool. So pretty and pretty handy as well. Unfortunately, I need more of these little corners to like make one more space, but it might um, take up too much space anyway. So um, I had to like move a little bit of the old paintings and stuff like that. But now, hey, I mean, it still looks pretty nice. I know there's a spot right there now, which is pretty funny, but it'll, it'll blend in over time. Uh, here are my work gloves right here, just sitting right there. I got the battery charger for the Ego blower. Uh, I have a 530, so for those who are curious. My USB chargers, right, for my USB devices, such as this um, headlight right here, which is still charging, I believe. So I did use it today to um, fill up my liquids 
and prepare them for um, up the upcoming recording. And yeah, so I am uh, been really pleased with how it's been looking. I love how it's much more organized. And uh, we'll see how much it holds up over time. But uh, anyway, so here's my one uh, one other container. Um, this one has my wash mitts in it. And on top of that is my uh, short gun that I did use once at least before for my uh, pressure washing. So let me put that down for right now. Let's see what's inside of this particular container, which is the um, my wash mitts. See now, see, I can put this on my head, right? Because it has magnets very easily, right? It has my wash mitts and just the extra little stuff in here, including this one other drying towel that I couldn't fit and my um, clay scrubber that I got from a comp uh, rag company, not a uh, uh, well, kind of a short while back. It has a scrubber on the back, so that's why I call it a, a clay scrubber. But it just works as well as a clay towel. So I like to use this as well as the claying towel at times where, you know, I feel like maybe, um, you know, the scrubber may be, may be better for this situation versus the towel. But I've been using the towel more and more over time. Uh, not that the uh, scrubber does a lesser job. It's just the way it feels and stuff like that. I just like it, you know. I like the fact that you can fold different sides and use different sides and, you know, all that. So you can take that back off. Pretty nice, right? And I kind of just use the magnets to, uh, you know, hold it with my hands while I'm doing this sort of uh, handheld shot. So much steadier. <laughs> I should have done this in the first place. I, if I put it on my head, I'm like, you know, sh you know, shuffling around. You're gonna kind of see this. But if I shuffle around, I can keep my hands still, but um, uh, much, much steadier shot with my hand. Uh, whereas, you know, if I put it on my head all the time, then I can, or then it becomes a little shakier and thus, and thus making it a little more unpleasant to watch. Hold on, let me flip some boxes over. Hold on. All right. Speaking of which, uh, I do want to change my wipers. My windshield wipers are getting worn out. It has been a little over a year since um, I bought the car because those are the those are the OEM wipers. So <laughs> um, they're starting to wear out. Wear out. So I'm definitely uh, needing to um, get them changed. And I already am prepared because those boxes in the back are, are where my wipers are. So. I will definitely get that going eventually. Um, I have the silicone ones, so they should be lasting a lot longer than the ones that are OEM. Uh, there was one more thing I did want to show. I forgot where to put it. Um, oh yes, over here. I forgot to show this way while back, but I felt like I really should have. And it's this, and it's these um, bumper scrape guards. I wish I knew about these way earlier because I would have. I would install them day one because these have been pretty helpful, I feel, for my bumper because the way the Corolla's bumpers are nowadays, they're like, you know, they, they, they have a pretty prominent front lip. Not to mention the car is a little lower, so that combination is serving to likely scraping the driveways, parking, uh, you know, those like parking guards that they have the curb, right, when you um, try to, trying to park your car. So these scrape guards are really helpful for those situations. They stick to your car really well too, if you cleaned it, clean out the bumper first. So all you do is just stick them. It's, it's just an adhesive, it's like a sticker, you know? Obviously though, it works, you know, like a, three, uh, a 3M kind of adhesive, it even says it right here. You can preserve your bumpers that way. I really wish I knew about these um, way back when, so, um, for anyone who is really looking for something, this, uh, something of that situation, this is definitely the, the go-to. Um, I just found these. It's a universal fit. You can cut them too, like, uh, with some scissors. You can cut, like, these segments, um, to your fit, and it should fit your car for whatever. 
Um, yeah, easy installation, no screws, no holes. Uh, and I guess it's guaranteed for 10 years. So yeah, very handy so far. I really like them for what they are. It's just so simple and yet very helpful. So I definitely uh, would highly recommend for anyone who has these like, you know, fr fancy front bumpers, but don't want to scrape them. I already scraped them. Some of the bottom is like, ugh, kind of nasty, but you know, it is what it is. And now I don't have to worry about it as much because they have the guards on. And yeah, so we're good to go on that part. I installed them like a while back, but I just forget, completely forgot to talk about them. But I really wanted to though, that's the thing. So, um, that's about, I think it, um, though, to talk about like anything I want. Oh shoot, I've even forgot to talk about this. So you can see like I that I have like, <laughs> funny, right? That I have to, uh, more than one um, Superior Products Cherry Foam mix into here. This is uh, also more, uh, this one's like more, more like, offhand or whatever, non-scientific dilution. This is like two ounces plus. So um, this will just will be like, you know, like a non-test or whatever. I'm just gonna just use it, right? Uh, this is more, uh, two ounces plus to what, 32 ounces or something like that. Uh, or no, actually, yeah, more than two, 32 ounces. So yeah, who knows what that dilution, dilution ratio is, but hopefully it's just one to 10. That's what I'm hoping for really. And then I even uh, accidentally made too much to the point where I actually have to have an old um, foam gun or foam whatever for the garden hose of mine um, be used as a jar basically to store the liquid. So I'm just using that for, for this uh, application. Okay, there you go. Anyway, so um, that is, I believe, about it for that. Um, so yeah, um, I already talked about my future plans, which is to get the other pumps, my pump sprayers to have a shredder valve of sorts. And I definitely know how to do that. Cause I've done, I've done like PVC air cannons in my, back in my day during high school. So I just like have, I had a random, uh, tire valve, but I don't know the size for now. I've forgotten it's a long time it's been a long time so i'm just not gonna even bother with it and i just went ahead and got uh more tire valve the, the shorter tire valves and that's from the same company like slime or whatever so those those are like 350 so i just went ahead and bought them uh, online so these th those should be coming tomorrow so i'm not gonna make a video for that that's for sure but i'm i'll maybe make a video with the pump sprayers with the tire valve and everything just to see how they perform, you know? But those will probably use O&R, and &R, and then I'm gonna use the O&R. Let's say, like, I, I, I'm sure the OI detail will perform better, Princess Wash will perform better than O&R, because I've seen videos already, so not really much of a spoiler there. But what I'm gonna use for O&R is clay lube, um, some maybe glass cleaner, uh, just like very small applications. It's like very, very specific spotty things. Um, whereas this is just going to be my f general go-to for like cleaning everything. Uh, rinseless style. So that's, uh, that's really um, the gist of that. And then I guess, yeah. I mean, I think we're all pretty much set in terms of like buying stuff. Um, the only thing I want to buy right off my head right at this point is like new Gion stuff that's coming hopefully soon down the line. I'm really excited for their iron remover. I'm excited for their um, Eco Wash Concentrate, which is basically um, allowing you to make either waterless wash or rinseless wash. So that's really cool. I do want to check that out as well. So I'm kind of like hoping to see if I can make myself a lot of water wa waterless washes for those like, you know, situations um, so that I can, I can um, buy or use that as a means of having a waterless wash that has like no protection on it. I don't want any protection on it. I already have protection with my um, graphene spray from Turtle Wax. That's enough for me for right now to hold me over until summer because summer 
I really want to try ceramic coating it, and I'm gonna do everything, right? So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna one step it, one step polish or whatever, one step compound, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna one step it, panel prep it, all that stuff, you know, decontaminate, APC wash, everything. I wanna do everything to really clean up the car and then apply um, the ceramic coating from, guess what? DIY details. So I do really want to try that out. I'm going to get the five-year ceramic coat and hopefully that'll last. You see how long that holds me over. So definitely uh, very excited for that. For I already have plans for the summer. So that's pretty much like um, all, me already telling you guys what I'm planning to do for the future, especially with the Gion, G, uh, the Gion stuff. So I love Gion. I like their, um, their spray and rinse off wet coat. Really cool still over here i have another bottle in fact um that i showed you guys i think back in the day or whatever on the um the first car detailing journal video thing i did i believe so yeah um that's about it i still haven't changed out the resin like i've been saying for this one i believe the water softener over here has been performing uh very decently at, at least so uh, hoping that is uh, have been serving me well <laughs> enough at least but i will try to actually change it out tomorrow maybe if i have time but we'll see so uh trying to see if i'm forgetting anything oh yes there actually is one more thing i do want to show you guys so um these bottle portioners right i've been uh using that for um the onr at least and this my only warning I would like to give you guys is that these do not perform great with like the thick liquids. So, um, car poo shampoo, car shampoo, not, I say car poo shampoos, car shampoos don't particularly perform, uh, perform well unless it's like um, very thin. But you're definitely off, uh, better off using this for uh, APCs better for uh, rinse and washes. This, this performed very well. Um, then this one also performed very much well. And then this one definitely has served the purpose. But you definitely don't want to use these for um, the soaps, thick liquids and stuff like that. That's my only warning. And where, where, can you, where, where is the best place to get them? That, that's a question I'm sure someone will ask eventually. So usually, if you want to get these like on Amazon, you have to buy a 10 pack for like 40 bucks or something like that. If you want to just like get like one or two, there are several places, but they charge a lot for shipping just for like these little items. So the best way, in my opinion, is actually go to Zorro.com. I actually found that site very recently and they shipped me the, the um, bottle portioners. They're, I think they're all over here. Um, they're, the bottle portioners came to me, you know, relatively soon after I purchased them. Shipping shipping speed is pretty decent. You don't have to pay that much for it. And I paid like what, 12 bucks for these two? Whereas uh, most places will charge you like what, 20 bucks because of shipping, man. That stuff kills your uh, budget. I'm really, uh, I tell, I'm, let me tell you, man, you know, these bottle portioners are great, but man, trying to get them is hard because I don't know. <laughs> now, if you can get these locally, go 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 get them locally. Go to your uh, car detail supply warehouse, or whatever. Go get it there. If it's there, go get it there. If you only get them online, Zorro.com. I'll try to leave a link in the description below. Not affiliated with them or anything like that. Um, but that's, in my opinion, the best place to get them, at least for right now, that I know anyway. So. Um, very convenient way otherwise yeah you're gonna be paying like 22 or 20 bucks just to get like just two of these already now if you're willing to bite the bullet and want to get 10 of them for some reason um yes it is a that is cheaper in, in some ways kind of convenient and you have the amazon convenience right so you have like the um the um the prime shipping excuse me <laughs> i'll try to leave the link for the shelf itself as well, I'll try to leave the link for all the stuff I use over time. And uh, that list will grow and I'll be for every single car video eventually. So 
now I'm now my fucking pacing back and back and forth. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I did for the garage. Um, also, what the stuff I got um, for my car detailing stuff. You know, I've been really happy. I'm gonna be very excited to try this all out, especially the hack and everything, the DIY hack, DIY detailed Vincent's wash, DIY <laughs> um, incredible suds. The, these two shampoos and everything, all that's happening on one day, hopefully. So, um, and for those who are worried, like, oh, is it gonna rain again? Eh, I mean, I like washing my car, and if it rains, I have one, I have more excuses to wash more car, you know, more washing. So I'm all for that, because I've been I've been really into washing my car as of late, man. So that's why I've been uh, you know going crazy by buying all the uh, car wash products, you know. Um, I've also, oh yeah, I mean, I guess I can make, you know, tell you guys. I've also made some changes to the arrangement, you know, a little bit, if you notice, right? Um, brake buster is off the thing, uh, no more, it's no, no more brake buster. But instead, yeah, I just have the, uh, the hyper wash right there, you know, just for sitting there right now until maybe something else dethrones it. I have my, uh, the swab, the, uh, foam swabs right here for the window stuff. Incredible suds, just right sitting right there, just it looks pretty. Uh, maybe actually move the box right there. And just throw it in the trash can. I don't need it anymore. Um, let me also throw the instructions away. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have the APC right there still, my green star, right? Battery pack. I'm having the this old battery pack sitting in here because I do more of these like um, vlogs and stuff like that. I use the GoPro more, so I'm more likely wanting to bust out the cable and all that stuff and plug it into here and stuff. That is uh, sort of my excuse to um, have the have the power bank right here and such. And then I have also my gloves, my black nitro gloves. Just because I th I feel like it makes more the most sense to have them up here, you know. I I always would like to have access to my gloves whenever I start washing my car. That's just me, anyway. I'll probably, in fact, even move it. Oh, put it on my head like that. Move this over here and have it right there. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, so. Anyways, good stuff, good stuff. Just fucking around in my garage <laughs> as of late, you know. And of course, I haven't even explained what I did with this. I added um, another LED fluorescent, no, not fluorescent, um, shop light right here. It used to be fluorescent over there. Um, I got this from Harbor Freight. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cheap, because I bought both of these for 40 bucks on a sale. And they light up pretty good too, right? So I installed that one like uh, back in December-ish. I installed this one back in January, so you haven't noticed already. And I have not unfortunately filled this little jug up yet. No use yet. I gotta wait on the resin to be changed. I will use, I will do that night, um, some, sometime soon. Alrighty, I'm getting tired. So I'm gonna stop it right here. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you guys have been finding these like car detailing journals like at least entertaining to some sorts. Learn something from them or I don't know, you just hear, put this on the background, hear me just babble on about like, you know, car washing and everything. Oh, God damn it. I forgot to, I forgot to show off one more thing before I go. So I actually got this, um, this like fireman hose kind of nozzle. It was like really cheap. It was like five bucks or something on Amazon, but it, it worked well. I, I used it for pouring, um, what do you call it? To the big jug um, I have deep in there and then pour that jug into here. That's how I was able to do that uh, real easy. And of course I use this um, measuring cup right here. Very handy for uh, precisely measuring your uh, car shampoo liquid and stuff like that. Cause you know, it was too thick for this stuff. So yeah, that's why I, I had to like clean it out and I'm just letting it dry right here right now. And I'm gonna only use these for like um, uh, rinseless 
stuff and APCs and other thin liquids. So I'll put this back into here for now. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Bob. So, yeah. All right. If you have any comments, let me down below. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. I will have another video coming up and I cannot wait to do the bone battle or whatever you want to call it, car sh shampoo battle. I don't know what to call it, but Incredible Suds will be just like a bonus thing. It's really these two that are competing with each other. But look at the color of the, color of the liquid though, man. What a difference. Like you would think that they would be the same because like they're both red in the thing, kind of, but this one's a little more pinkish, I guess. That one's like dark, deep red or something. So maybe this is more concentrated. This is definitely more, you know, economical or whatever. Whereas this one is like, yeah, you're paying it for the brand name. But we'll see. We'll see if the extra 20 bucks or whatever is worth it. We'll see and find out. But anyways, thank you very much for this card detailing journal, February 2nd. And, uh, oh no, actually, no, I'm, I lied. It's uh, February 6th, 8th. Oh, my dates are off, guys. All right, I'm gonna go rest. You guys take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all in the next video. Sean out.